Hello and welcome to my FCOM installation tutorial where I detail the process I go through when installing FCOM. As you probably know, FCOM is quite a beast of a mod to install, but hopefully with this series of videos it will make the process go by a little bit easier. So what have I done already? Well first I uh, did a fresh install of Oblivion and I installed it in my C games directory. It's a good idea when you're installing FCOM to install it on a fresh install of Oblivion and also to install Oblivion somewhere other than the default program files folder. Doing this will ensure that problems won't arise later on down the road. I've also taken the liberty of downloading Shivering Isles and also updating to the latest version. Other than that I also actually went into the game in order to create the Oblivion any file and other than that I haven't really done much else so what do you do from here well you just download all sorts of uh, mods and files that you're gonna need most of the things that you're gonna need are gonna be in this nice little thread right here the FCOM thread on the official Oblivion forums I'll provide a link in the description of this video most of the files you're gonna need are gonna be right here and as you're downloading things you're gonna wanna put them in a nice organized fashion something like this so the first thing you're going to want to download is Rybash Rybash is what we're going to be using to manage the mods so click there and go to files and you're going to want to download Rybash installer version and RyPython 0.4 or 04a those files can be found in my utilities folder right here and right here Uh, we're not going to be using Oblivion Mod Manager. Uh, we're just going to be using Rybash and Bane. So we can skip OBMM. You will, however, want to download BOSS, better Oblivion sorting software. Just click there, go to Files, and download BOSS 1.8 Installer. I have that right here. okay now we actually start downloading some mods starting with the unofficial patches we got the unofficial oblivion patch scroll down to where the mods are or the downloads you'll uh, find a manual version right here the unofficial oblivion patch 3.2.0 manual I have that in my unofficial patches folder right here unofficial oblivion patch 3.2.0 manual next is unofficial shivering isles patch use this if you're um, gonna be using shivering isles download the manual version right here and you'll see I have that right there uh, DLC is in the unofficial oblivion mods patch the unofficial oblivion mods patch is gonna be right here download the manual version as you can see I've done so right here uh, this last file that you see is the unofficial patch supplementals uh, the FCOM thread does not have it you're gonna actually have to google it if you go look up um, unofficial oblivion patch supplementals it'll be the top one go to files um, under main files you can download unofficial patch supplementals you'll see I have that right there okay now with the unofficial patches done next is Francesco's if you click there scroll to the bottom and download the second one right here we're not going to be using this one we, we just need to download this uh, file right here You'll see I have that right there. Uh, this other file right here, um, you can find a link for that right here on the Francisco's Quick Install Guide, right under where all the um, files that you're going to be downloading are. If you click here for downloading the optimized version, and go to here, download the optimized items pack right there. We don't need the creatures pack, just the items pack okay uh, that's all that you need for friends now for Oscuro's Oblivion Overhaul click on the first link scroll down 
and download the OMOD Ready Complete. It's going to be 402 megabytes, um, and it's going to be OMOD Ready, and it's going to say Complete. And when you download it, it should say something like this. Complete, 7-zipped. Seven, seven the other file you're going to need, 1.34 beta 5, go to files, you can download 1.34 beta 5 right there. Okay, and that's all you need for OOO. Next is Warcry. Um, they have these links. You don't really need these. All you really need is this Warcry 1.09. Just click download not download now and that'll get you the Oblivion Warcry 1.09. That's only going to include the ESP. If I go to my Warcry uh, folder, you'll see I have 1.09 there. This contains all of the resources you're going to need. It's the BSA for Warcry and that's down here a little ways under BSA testing. Oblivion Warcry EV.BSA. Click there and click on download now and you can download that file okay now after Warcry we get Bob's Armory and Lost Blunt Weapons Lost Blunt Weapons is nice and easy just click there go to files click on Lost Blunt Weapons and you'll get the only all that you'll need for Lost for Bob's Armory it's almost as easy Scroll down and click on Bob's Armory Oblivion, and that'll get you what you need for Bob's Armory. Um, I included both Bob's and Loth's in the same folder. Here's a Loth uh, file, and here's the Bob file that I told you to download. This file uh, contains the resources we're going to use for Bob's Armory. That's another BSA, so you can find it if you scroll down a little ways in the FCOM thread under BSA testing click on Bob's Armory Oblivion click on download now that'll get you this file right here after that is armamentarium and artifacts if you click on armamentarium go to files download arma complete resources and armamentarium complete version 1.35 one of them contains the ESP and one of them contains the resources. This is the resources, this contains all the ESPs. For artifacts, click on artifacts, go to files, download artifacts and artifacts 1.1. That'll get you these two files. That's all you need for that. So moving on, we get to Marty Jen's monster mod. Click on that, scroll down a little ways until you get here. You can click on Planet Elder Scrolls. Scroll down a little ways until you get to where the files are. And you're going to want to download this. This is the public release, um, 37b3.7z. And also, you're going to want to download the BSA, mmm373bsa.7z. If I go to my FCOM folder and mmm, you'll see I have 373, um, the public release, and then the BSA right there. The other two files, you can find links for in the FCOM thread. Right after Marty Jens Monster Mod is the Diverse Water Life Update. Just click there and click on Diverse Water Life Update. And then the um, other file was Rune Skulls, right there. Just click on MMM Rune Skulls Rebalance Beta 2. and then click download right there and then it'll let you download the rune skulls file and that's all you need for MMM moving onwards we get to COBOL click on the first link go to files download COBOL 172 and you're also going to want to scroll down to miscellaneous and download loot drop merchant changes proposal if you go to COBOL you'll see I have that and that um, then this other file, MMN Cobol, you can find a link right after Cobol, right there. 
This will bring you to where this diverse water life update was. You can just scroll down a little bit until you get to this COBOL update area and you can click on MMM COBOL update download and download it here. After COBOL, we get to um, FCOM. I'm going to skip COBOL races and race balancing project. I don't like to use these mods. I'm fine with the races as they are after um, installing FCOM. If you want to uh, use these uh, mods, you can look into how to do that after, your, um, after you install FCOM. But for now, we're just going to skip them. So getting to FCOM, click on the link there. Go to Files and click on FCOM Convergence Beta 9.9 .9. you'll find that is this UFCOM click on download and that's this file FCOM Warcry download that that's this file these other, these other two files this is the BSA you can probably guess where we're going to find that you scroll down to the BSA testing area. There it is, ufcomconvergence.bsa. If you click there, you'll get to um, download that file. And the FCOM Entropic uh, Order Rebalance, that's up here a little ways, right above Quick Start. I don't know why it's um, separated, like up here, but it says to be sure to get it, so be sure to get it. And that covers all your FCOM mods. Finally are the OMOBs. If you um, click on OMOBs, you can download the um, OMOB Shivering Isles or just download OMOBs um, depending on which, um, if you have Shivering Isles or not. So I went with the Shivering Isles one. Um, also if you scroll down a little bit you'll see um, a little um, quick OMOBs discussion. If you have DLCs, uh, click here, go to Files, and download DLC mobs. You'll see in my mobs folder I have DLC mobs and the Shivering Isles. And that should be all you need, uh, for now at least. One other thing I'd like to mention is uh, managing DLCs. It'll take a little bit more work, uh, and you'll have to install 7-Zip to do it, but we're going to need 7-Zip later on anyway, and I think it's worth the um, effort. So um, what you have to do is first, for whatever DLCs you have, uh, install it. So I'm going to install the order re. While that's going on, I'm going to go to my Oblivion folder and go to the data folder. This should be done now. And you'll see it put um, the orreries. Here and here. If you select both of them and go to 7-Zip and say add to archive and archive it as orrery.7z you have a nice 7 zipped um, file that has all of the um, orrery stuff that you need. After that you can go about uninstalling orrery. There we go, so the orrery um, files are gone, but we have this um, that has both of the things that were included in the Aura reinstall. So put this somewhere safe. I'll delete it for now because I already have one. I have all mine in my um, official add-ons, Bane Ready. Each of these contains the files that um, are needed for their respective mods. And if you do this, it'll make installing and uninstalling DLCs a lot easier.